what's up guys how are you doing so today i'm going to show you guys how to get rid of that black awful screen that you usually get when you are recording and um, i'm just going to show you guys what what happens so you guys could relate to it so you click record and um, you're recording you're talking you're enjoying life and having some full gameplay showing off and then you stop recording and you're ready to go edit that gameplay or whatever it is and you go check out um, Loki.gg and you play the video and you're like you hear yourself talking but you don't see any gameplay so I'm gonna show you guys how to um, how to fix that so you wanna go back and you want to do something right there every time you start to record there should be a pop-up at the top of here asking if you have problems recording you're just gonna click that and um, it should give you a step one path and this is a different path for everyone so don't try to copy mine even when you when you actually go to software you will be able to see a different path but it will be relatively the same so you're gonna just copy that path you want to type in your um in your search box, you're going to type in graphic settings. And then when you click that, you should see this hardware acceleration, the GPU scheduling. And you want to make sure it's on. You may see it in my desktop app or you may see it in my classic app. Which one of them ever it show it, um, you see, you're going to click that. So my own says desktop app. You're not gonna use Microsoft Store app. And you can click browse and you're gonna paste that in this box right there. Paste is the URL that they give you. And you're gonna add it. So basically you add an exception and you're gonna look for OBS64. You're gonna look for OBS64. And you're gonna click that and add it. Because what is happening is actually the software is only um it's basically, um, they made it so that it will work on a particular GPU. And usually that error happens when you have two GPU. Um, so you have two graphics, graphics um, processing units. And I, I have two because I have um, a Nitro 5 laptop. That's a next gen kind of laptop. And so we have a, a integrated graphics card. And we have a high performing graphics card and which is a dedicated graphics card. So depending on which one you choose, which one the, the, the software interacts with, they made it to interact with, it has the one that will work. So um, they only make it interact with your integrated graphics card. So it's usually the power saving graphics card. So the high end graphics card will be your dedicated graphics card. So you want it to work with your power saving graphics card. And you're just going to save it like that very simple and after that you just close this off make sure it looks like this this right there and you're just gonna close it off and um, we're gonna restart um, loki.gg and just so you guys know this can work with obs also so obs usually get black screens also and um, release action plenty of other softwares you need to always choose your integrated graphics card so always remember that so we're just going to close it off and restart it because even though you try to record right now, it probably still wouldn't work. Well, let's just see if we really need to restart and then we're going to stop again and we're going to check it out. It's the same. So we need to restart after we restart the application. Everything should be um, perfectly fine. So we're going to make sure it is closed and gone. Okay, so we're going to open it back up again and it should be all right. And uh, the messed up thing about Loki.gg is you need to have an internet connection. And um, right now I'm far from the internet connection, so it might, might, might take a little while to load up. See, it says error. I'm just going to pause. So the internet has come back. So we're going to try it right now and you'll see a difference. So we're just going to record a few seconds of um, the screen. I choose mine to record the um, entire screen rather than having to play a game. 
to record so that should be good and we're just gonna stop it right there and as you can already see from the thumbnail it's already recorded my screen so there's no that black screen anymore and there's no problem with it the audio is fine everything is good and that's how you fix the black screen and this is gonna work for as i said obs mirrorless action and probably uh, a lot of other softwares uh, i've been seeing it uh, working with so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and um stay royal